I think I was about four years old when I started saying I was going to be a soldier. And I never much thought about anything else, and I was 17 when I went to West Point. But when I went to West Point, one of the things they told me is much of what you learn there won't really be internalized for many years. And they were absolutely right. When we think about education of a person, you get part of it in the classroom, in high school, or maybe at university level. But in reality, think where you learn the most. You learn the most down where you're solving problems, dealing with those knotty issues in society. I'm Stan McChrystal. I'm the chairperson of the Service Year Alliance, which advocates for an opportunity for national service for every young American. We have great divides in America. We live in different neighborhoods, we watch different television, we eat different foods, we don't interact like we think we do. What we need to do is give people a common experience, a common sense of contribution, and a common sense of responsibility to other Americans. So that when a young person's growing up, they don't wonder if I'll serve, they wonder where I'll serve. Over the past few decades, we've come to equate service with military service. In reality, service is much broader. Education, healthcare, conservation. If you look back at American history and go to those existential crises we faced, the American Revolution, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, but then also include things like the Great Depression, the Civil Rights Movement, and other periods when we had to change America and it took service. But we've retreated from that. We've allowed earlier ideas of responsibility for young Americans to erode a bit. And I think our concept of citizenship has eroded a bit. And I think we see that in the divisions across our nation now. The goal of the Service Year Alliance is to give every young American the opportunity to do a year of paid national service. The question of how we make a service year a realistic option for every American requires some careful thinking. Put yourself in the position of a young person who would love to do a year of service, but has parents to support, might have young children, might have siblings whose education they're working for. Suddenly it's not a realistic option because they have to get a paycheck every week. We need to be able to pay a living stipend to every young American who does service so that it's not limited to those people who have outside resources from their parents. The real objective is to have alumni of this program, to have veterans of service. I think in 30 years, we'll be a different place. We'll still have political differences. We'll still argue on specific issues, but we'll argue from a different place. We'll argue from a place that we have a shared sense of where America needs to go, what America needs to be, and what being an American really means.